We built gas burners. That's what we've done for a long time. We were actually at SEMA last year. One of the guys that works here actually met up with the Ampere guys and we struck up a conversation. Next thing you know, we're building a car. My name is Daniel Paul. I'm with Southfield Classics High Voltage Vehicles. We are a manufacturer of electric vehicles using antique and classic cars. And we're installing Ampere EV atom drive systems. Let me show you a little bit of what we do around here. This area right here is our upholstery area where we actually do the interiors of the vehicles. We build our own seats, cover our own seats using all high quality original material. This area right here that we're coming on is our electrical component testing where we make all our harnesses, two link, pin out and place the areas that we need them for our vehicles that we're building. The Ampere system actually comes with a universal harness and what we have to do is have to cut it down to size to fit our vehicle that we're built, putting it in, which means basically test fitting, taking back out, pinning where we need to pin, finding out where component locations are going. Then he comes back to the table and he'll cut everything, pin it before we install it at the end of the build. Everything's there for us and they supply us with everything. They've been really good about communicating with us if we had any issues. They also have a, uh, a good website that you can actually go on and look up the information that you need if you can't find it. Thorough documentation, yes, absolutely. This is our fabrication area. What we do with the bodies when they come in is we pre-fit everything. Uh, we take the Ampere EV system and we'll mock it up inside the vehicle where we need the components to be. As we go through, we actually fit all the panels, make sure everything is, is fit correctly, uh, more show quality make everything tight and fit like it's supposed to. The Ampere EV system, actually, we make all the brackets and the bracing for it. That's what part of the kit that doesn't come. Those are the things that you have to make. What we actually do, we design the locations and figure out the locations for all the components, where we want to put them, whether it's under the hood, behind the seat, under the seat. On this particular model, we're running a drive shaft, so the uh, Cascadia motion motor that we're using will actually be attached to a drive shaft that'll drive an actual four nine inch rear end. So it's basically just like a hot rod. It just has a different power plant. This truck is scheduled to appear in SEMA show 2023. We're going to debut it on the floor in Ampere EV's booth. They've invited us to come out and bring what we build for them. And that's what we're going to do. This is an 84 kilowatt system. Should give us a range of around 250 miles. Takes six battery packs. We've added Two battery packs behind the uh, rear end for a weight distribution. We have one battery pack that is actually underneath the seat. And then all of our charging components are behind the seat it's where we can hide everything. And then under the hood, it'll have a three pack system. The other three batteries for the pack. Underneath the hood of this one, that's pretty much all you're going to see is just three battery packs. So what Ampere EV has actually supplied us is a contained unit of all of the components necessary computer-wise to run the electric modules. This is our charging box that is the main portion of the charger. All the coolant lines and everything will be run through it to the battery packs. This is the A unit, the A module battery pack that actually all the other battery packs run off of it. We have our charging port that we've added over there. It'll go all the way up to level three charging. You can pretty much charge it anywhere from a 110 outlet all the way up to level three anywhere. This is our Cascadia motion motor. And like I said, it's got a torque box on it with a gear ratio that will actually run. So it, it never really has a gear that it has to shift. It runs fully off torque. It'll have a drive shaft, like I said before, that'll actually push a four nine inch rear end. Our 12 volt system will actually be all hidden up underneath the seat. Uh, ties in really well with the Ampere EV. They've gave us pretty good schematics and diagrams for us to be able to attach the 12 volt portion. 12 volt portion for us is the AC units, the speedometers, the headlights, the tail lights. Everything else is pretty much controlled through Ampere EV system. It does have navigation on it. The GUI that we use, which is the head unit, pretty much gives you all the information that you need. So this is our fabrication area. This is where we make all our bracketry. We're actually making a motor mount now for the truck over there. We've mocked this up to the actual motor so that we can actually bolt it to the frame. After we build them, we put them on CAD so that we have designs as we go through the build process. All right, so this is the mule. This is our test mule. This is the first truck that we've built with the Ampere EV system. We wanted to test everything out before we started actually installing them in other vehicles, make sure that they do and perform exactly how they say. So this is the very first one. We actually entered, this is a 42 kilowatt system that we put in this with three battery packs, single motor, IM225, drive shaft. We actually put this one on a roaster shop chassis just because we had it available. The truck actually had this patina 
on it. It was actually painted brown. We wet sanded all the brown paint off and this green was underneath it. So we cleaned all the brown off and just kept the original patina, make it look like an old truck. We did everything in-house, made all the brackets, uh, wired everything, put all the componentry in. It's got power steering, power brakes, four nine inch rear end, bare brakes. It's got Detroit steel wheels on it. It's basically like an original truck. We did detrim it and replace it with new trim. We redid the interior on it and we've been running it probably about I say about six weeks it's performed outstanding it has extreme torque off the line as you would expect from an electric vehicle very good top end you know it's a 1950 truck so when you're doing 90 miles an hour and you don't hear anything it's, it's pretty disorienting it has the shakes and rattles of a 1950 so you still feel like you're driving a hot rod but you're actually in a modern car it has modern drivetrain doesn't leak doesn't smoke and it's really fun to drive it'll smoke the tires off as far as you can hold it been really happy with ampere ev's system Everything's worked out. It was uh, relatively easy to use. We put it together pretty quick. This build actually took five and a half months, start to finish, paint and everything. As we got into it, we kind of understood that it, it was a lot less complicated than we expected. The owner of my company has actually looked into this for about five or six years. We've had other companies that have enlisted us to build a vehicle for them and they were unable to uh, deliver. We were actually at SEMA last year. One of the guys that works here actually met up with the Ampere guys and we struck up a conversation. Next thing you know, we're building a car. That's why we were kind of skeptical when we got this. That's why we wanted to put it in a vehicle that we could test. And we've been totally, totally impressed with how this system actually runs and works. Support was 100% top notch. Anytime we had any issues or any questions, we could just call them. They pick up the phone. That, that was a big deal for me. They answer emails. That's another big deal for me, that if I have any problems at all, they're there. We got a GT40, 1966 GT40, actually got three of them. Replica, that we got aluminum chassis. We're gonna have two track cars, one street car. The first one is actually has the Ampere EV 42 kilowatt system in it that we're actually using a rear drive unit. So it's actually a track car. So we're gonna mule it first, just like we did this one, see what it does on the track, see how fast it goes. And like I said, we got two more after that. So we're gonna build those two out. The third one will probably be a streetcar. My name is Daniel Paul, and if you want to uh, hit us up, I'll be glad to talk to you. If you have any questions, give me a call. I'll help you out any way I can.